Oh, what's going on everyone? So, today, finishing up this guy. Now, I started to do another video because some stuff got delayed. The fluid. Uh, another three-pin splitter for our fan and pump. And in the meantime, I was going to work on the wheeze. Which you can see I sort of started already. But, uh, no, that's not dirty. That's paint. But anyway... Uh, I decided to wait anyway, and this video is just going to be finishing this up. So, I grabbed a few zip ties from work, just to clamp off the last few uh, parts of the tubing that I ran out of zip ties for. I've got my splitter already in there. Um, just need to sand off around the edges of our temperature display so it drops right in there. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. In the meantime, in the other video, I showed me taking this window back off because, as you can see now, you can see through it pretty easily. Um, I kind of want to go back and put another layer of paint on there. But before, I had about 10 coats. You couldn't see through it. When the lights were on, you could sort of see through it, but just not well enough that I liked it. So I took it off and redid it with about half as many coats. Now, unfortunately, you still can't see it very, or you can still see through it pretty clearly, but, uh, oh well, that's just going to have to do. Maybe down the road I'll get uh, a different kind of film, or just an already tinted piece of plastic. I'm pretty sure I have, like, a license plate cover that was tinted. Um, no, I didn't use it. I had, I used the clear one instead, but I'm sure I have that somewhere. Anyway, um, so, yeah. All we got to do is put those clamps on, uh, assemble this thing, and get it ready to add our fluid. I might still do distilled water first just to make sure there's no leaks or anything. And then uh, then I'll go back and add this. But yeah, I'm going to go do the, all that stuff really quickly. And otherwise it's pretty much ready to go. And yeah, I just need to put everything together minus the hard drive cover so that we can access our fill port. Once the whole system is completely full, you just put your hard drive cover over it. You can't exactly <clears throat> access this. You can see it's going to be about right there with this on. But it's not like you got to take the whole system apart. You just take this off, as you normally would, with the button. And then you can access the port. Now, technically, this one is exposed as well, so that can also be used sort of as a fill port. But you can't really see how full it's going to be. Before you you know overflow it but uh, this could still be I might put like an extra long fitting on here just to fill it with water and then if everything's good I could just drain it really easily you could still drain it from here but you'd really want this system to be held almost upside down over like a sink or something so it doesn't just run down and go inside the system but anyway that's pretty much it um, now in person this is a little bit darker, and in like a dark room, it would just look all black, I guess. But that's good enough for now. Anyway, let's get to it. All right. Got it full of distilled water. Well, it's not full. Just filled it up most of the way. Make sure there's no leaks. You can hear the pump because there's still water. Or uh, air in the water. But everything turns on. It's just yelling at me for not being plugged into the TV. Alright, so that's all good. We're going to go ahead and drain it out. And then fully assemble it. And then put the UV purple fluid in there. Alright guys, I got it here on the floor. Now, I'll be honest, this obviously was the Red Ring of Death Xbox. And we did the fix. Uh, I played it for a little bit, and I don't know, one of the other times I turned it on, it still flashed the three red lights. So I just let it run with nothing on the motherboard, no heat sinks or fan. 
and then it'll, it'll eventually overheat itself and go to two lights. That's when you unplug it, let it completely cool down, turn it back on, everything works again. Now that has happened a couple times during the process of building this and just messing around with the motherboard a lot. And then it worked fine. Well, once again, after turning it on and off, cycling all this stuff, getting the fluid in there, testing it out with the other stuff, uh, it eventually showed it again. However, I can't really do that one method without taking the side back off and at least unplugging our pump and same with our fans and that's going to actually allow it to overheat itself and we can reset it now on top of that like i said this motherboard completely free in terms of what i paid for along with other stuff and i already made money on the other stuff so basically this was just a bonus motherboard i considered so i know my system works really well and if it if i do eventually have to change a motherboard even if i go with one that's what's great about this ghost case it's made wider here so it can fit where it's just av or if the av is up higher and there's a hdmi port under that it will fit both so we can do either of those things um now if i end up putting in like a falcon board or something and obviously it's got a different uh disk drive can't really transfer this over but uh i don't know maybe i would do like a deep purple just paint the dvd drive if, if it comes to that so anyway i went to try to overheat it anyway without unplugging anything i just made sure this fan didn't spin and i basically totally blocked the back on the radiator and it heated up pretty quickly up to about 55 celsius but it still wasn't really getting hot enough to trigger the reset so then I just uncovered or unblocked this fan and the back so that they can all spin and it very quickly went down to like 45 Celsius in about five minutes literally. So I know this is a very good system. Obviously the motherboard's gonna be iffy, but that being said, let's turn it on anyway. Oop, did I plug it in? Hold on, I didn't plug it in. Okay, now you can hear the fans kind of speeding up and whatnot, because um, like these fans are still attached to the factory fan plug-in. But anyway, here we go. Our pump's going. All you can really hear are these fans here now that they've sped up. Other than that, it's actually a really quiet system. We've got our UV light here. You can see that fluid really glows. So I'm thinking about going back and swapping out this LED strip for just a UV one. But the one I have is 12 volts, so I would have to wire it somewhere else. But anyway, you can see it's actually just flashing the four lights right now, and it's not going to three. So who knows? Maybe it did trigger it this time. But right now it's blinking the four lights, and that's just saying it's not plugged in to a TV. But it's not going down to three, which is a great sign, so I can, maybe I can't test it out here. But now that this is really hot, um, I am confident that if I let it cool down all the way and play on it, it won't even go that high. But for a uh, original, you know, first-gen motherboard, that's actually not bad already, just having the fans blocked and having it go up to that. But anyway... So everything's working in terms of the pump and fans and lights and all that. So very cool build. I'm really excited about this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let this cool down and then we'll plug it into the TV. See if we can get it to work. Got to plug it into the TV. Didn't let it cool down too much, but I just want to see if it turns on or if I got to get it disassembled and unplug everything and do the fix that way that way we can get at least the final video in maybe do some testing and see if i want to swap in a different motherboard or something but anyway in order to get this one plugged into our oled tv um, i need this hdmi converter since this one obviously has no hdmi which is fine for me i would probably end up keeping this one as my own and just have it upstairs where i can just plug it into the projector without having to worry about that so the tv swapped over 
see if it's gonna let us turn it on. Look at that. All right, seems to be working fine. Now again, I'm going to let it run a little bit, cool down, and then let it cool down all the way. It's at about 43 right now. But uh, when I started it before, from a cold start, we'll call it, it was about 25 Celsius. So, yeah, there we go. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and... I already said this three times, but let it cool down and do an actual final like reveal video showing everything. Um back and forth on the window if I want to do even darker and yeah I don't know I guess that's pretty much it like comment subscribe